I represent the voice of the people. It is a hot issue. I think it's ridiculous that this mayor can have a point of view that he has about the issue. Here's a man who can't even uphold the sanctity of marriage in his own life. And so when the majority rules for a man and a woman to marry, it is my job to uphold that democratic process. You know what? You're going to marry your dog and that's okay? Because, you know, we live in a democratic society and everybody should just be able to do what they want to do. Congressman Woodson. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Scott, oh God, no, I can't. I don't know. I don't even know where to begin. Everyone's staring at me. Why is everyone staring at me? I heard he likes people. Must have heard you know. That he's a huge homo. I heard he's gay. They must know. They must know. People they must like know. To rumors. I dated him for two years. So I would know. <laughs> must already know. He likes pop. He's looking at me. Why are they looking at me? Why are they staring at me? Stop staring Ryan. at me. No. Ryan. <gasps> First day of school. This is Carolyn Meyer going over some of yesterday's comments made by Senator Woodson. Here's a snippet. Ruling on Prop 8 and the mayor's point of view on the issue. A family is a mother and a father and their children. It's my job to uphold that democratic process. Look, how many points did we drop? You fix this. The media is all over this. I thought you weren't going to touch this issue. It's public radio. They asked my opinion and I gave it to them. That's how I feel. That's how you feel? I am not in favor of changing state law for a mere 18,000 couples. What if it was your marriage that was being voted on? <laughs> oh, now you have an opinion about this. Well, I would love to hear the views of a 17-year-old child who can't even vote yet. Well, when I can, I know where it's not going. Well, when you become important enough to your country, I'll consider it. But right now, I'm worried about those who can vote and those who can't. Woodson, I'll be right down. You know, Ryan, your father's under a lot of stress right now. Are you ready to go to school? Can I drive myself? Your father thinks it's better if... Right. All right, let's go. I'm going to be late. I was thinking about what you told me. And you're wrong. I do love you, Ryan. I wish you would have given me some sort of sign that you weren't happy. That's all I was asking for. You're screening my calls, I can tell. Do you even care anymore? First day of school. I can't believe Ryan and Ellie are still together. I know. I can't picture her with anyone else. I know, they were like the cutest couple on campus. Do you think Ellie would mind if I dated Ryan? Of course she would. But he's like the hottest bachelor on campus right now. I mean, his father's a congressman, he was captain of the basketball team, and... Well, that's it. Do you know if he's dating anyone new? I don't know. He's been single all summer according to Facebook. I know. <laughs> it doesn't even say if he's interested in guys or girls. I thought I was the only one that noticed that. 
But his favorite quote is, be the change you wish to see in the world. That's deep. I don't get it, but it's good. English motherfucker. You think he drinks my outfit? I think it was a compliment. You think? Yeah. Well, whatever, back to Ryan. We should comment on his wall. I just poked him. Twice. Well, if Ellie found out we were taking Ryan's side, she would kill us. Yeah. Oh, Ellie told me never to tell anyone that she dated Scott. Oh my god, that's horrible. Why would Scott date his best friend's ex-girlfriend? I know, right? Ew. Ellie. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that one. I don't know, we're just not right for each other, you know? I want her to move on, but it still hurts. No, I don't think it's time yet. And besides, this is something that should come from me. Not you. What if we both tell him? What are we gonna tell him, Scott? That we're dating? We were supposed to be his friends. Now, some friend he is. He was hurt. Stop making excuses for him. People don't just wake up one day and stop having feelings for someone. I've known Ryan forever. Trust me on this one. I have practice with him later. I'll talk to him then. No way. Yes, way! Oh, okay. Ryan O'Leary. Oh. Nine inches. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, um... David Munch. Eight and a half. With above average penis girth. Confirmations coming from two freshman girls in my cousin's homeroom, so it must be true. Yeah. What are you two talking about? Kelly's cataloged the entire senior class, if you know what I mean. The boys, that is. Of course. Watch. Um, Philip Miller. Ten inches. According to who? According to Marie and both her hands. Fine, let me try. Patrick Gurren. <laughs> Some inches. <laughs> I'm impressed. And disgusted at the same time. Thanks. Okay, Ellie, can I be honest with you? Having pictures up of your ex is a no-no in my book. Girl, you need to move on and start putting up pictures of Scott. I just have this thing with throwing away pictures. Well, a box will do the trick. Perfect! And then toss it in the fireplace. You know what sounds really yummy right about now? Philip Miller. Even better. My mom got us some wine coolers. <gasps> yes! Austin, are you sitting down? Because I have to tell you what our little Jesse did now. Oh, God. What did Jesse do now? He met a guy. He won't tell me who it is, but the dude's older. Oh, you little slut. Okay, you guys, shut up. 
Tell me, how did this look? Uh, it's all right. I mean, it's good if we're going for last year's look, I guess. Oh, like you know anything about fashion, Austin. You live in like buttfuck Egypt or Mississippi, wherever. Brooke, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I agree with Austin. Oh, anyway, so he went to a bar last night. A bar, without me. But you're not even 21. I was last night. the schoolwork he's always failing to do. Wow. Oh, Jesse, we gotta go. That shirt looks great. Does? Oh. Okay. Bye, Austin. All right. Bye. Wait. Why are we going now? I thought your mom was gonna pick us up. Brooke? She might not want us to hang out anymore. What? Why? I don't know, something about your hair, or maybe you liking boys. I still like her. Look, I told her to go fuck off, and she told me I could walk to school. You didn't tell her that. Yes. Well, thanks. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Look, you know I'm not going anywhere, right? Better not. Come on. Hey, Ryan, wait up. What the fuck do you want? Hey, you okay? Just leave me the fuck alone. Hey, come on. I didn't know a gay guy could hit so hard. Okay, okay, he, he really didn't say that. I, I, I'm, but I'm pretty sure that him and everyone else were thinking it. I'm afraid of the repercussions on that one. <laughs> 